Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins in the heart of New York City, a series of chilling murders unfold, as an unknown assailant carries out ruthless attacks with a silencer-equipped weapon. A year later, Nicholas Shaw is a retired special agent, who now leads a secluded life in a rural country house, far from the bustling streets of the city. Despite his retirement, Shaw remains hyper-vigilant about his security, employing drones to monitor his surroundings incessantly. Seeking a change of scenery, Shaw embarks on a solitary drive to another city, where he finds solace by the riverside, lost in contemplation. Eventually, he parks his car outside a quaint restaurant, and becomes a regular patron, striking up conversations with Janice, a friendly waitress who serves him. During one of his visits, he catches a glimpse of Irene, the owner of a nearby bookstore, through the restaurant window. Intrigued, he decides to pay her a visit, purchasing a book from her shop, and engaging in conversation. As he sips his morning coffee, he is suddenly engulfed by haunting flashbacks, memories of torture inflicted upon him by an unidentified assailant. In these fragmented recollections, he recalls being coerced into revealing the identities of his fellow operatives, who later fell victim to the same ruthless assassin responsible for framing him. Outside his tranquil abode, Shaw's attention is drawn to a cat ensnared in a net. Without hesitation, he rushes the feline to a nearby hospital, ensuring its safety and well-being. Meanwhile, Janice arrives at the restaurant for her meal, sparking a heartfelt exchange between her and Shaw. However, their moment is abruptly interrupted when a utensil shatters in Tony's hand, casting a brief shadow over the atmosphere. Exiting the restaurant, Shaw encounters Irene, who divulges unsettling news. A stranger has arrived in town, inquiring about Shaw and bearing his photograph. With a sense of urgency, he sets out to confront this mysterious individual, spotting him seated in a car nearby, before disappearing into a nearby shop. Inside the shop, the stranger brandishes Shaw's photograph, launching a series of probing questions, in search of the elusive retired agent. Returning to his car, Shaw is startled to find an unexpected guest already seated inside. With a gun pointed squarely at the intruder, Shaw demands answers, who is he and why is he seeking Shaw out? The man reveals himself as Agent Dwight Logan, bearing a message from Elias Kane. Taking control of the situation, Shaw escorts Logan to his clandestine hideout, where he subjects him to interrogation, extracting vital information regarding Kane's intentions. Later, Shaw encounters Kane in a restaurant, his former boss, whose appearance prompts to question his motives. Kane reveals a shocking truth. Shaw's supposed retirement is merely a facade, a necessity to evade the wrath of an agency that views him as a traitor. Devastated by this revelation, Shaw is forced to confront the grim reality of his past actions. A year prior, he was ensnared by adversaries, who through torture, coerced him into divulging sensitive information, leading to the demise of his colleagues. Now branded as a criminal by the agency he once served, he grapples with the weight of his betrayal, realizing that even his desperate attempts to save his comrades ultimately damned him in the eyes of those he once called allies. As the conversation unfolds, it becomes evident that the victims of the initial killings were mere hobbyists, a reminder of Shaw's past transgressions. However, Kane interjects, revealing a surprising detail, his daughter, Monica, is an ardent admirer of Shaw's work. In an effort to clear Shaw's tarnished name, Monica began investigating the mysterious killings from a year ago, leading her dangerously close to uncovering the truth. Tragically, Monica's pursuit of justice was abruptly halted, when she was abducted by a powerful figure known as Quinton. Shaw is taken aback by this revelation, recognizing Quinton's formidable reputation. Yet, despite his initial reluctance, he is compelled by Kane's plea for assistance, especially upon learning that Monica's life hangs in the balance. Realizing the potential to unravel the mysteries of his own past, he agrees to aid Kane in locating his daughter. With a newfound sense of purpose, he prepares to confront the dangers ahead, knowing that by rescuing Monica, they may also uncover the identity of the mastermind behind the past year's atrocities. The gravity of the situation weighs heavily on him, as he accompanies Kane back to his secret base, where the sinister Quinton's involvement becomes increasingly apparent. With time running out and stakes higher than ever, Shaw braces himself for the perilous journey. As tensions escalate, Logan vents his frustration towards Kane, labeling Shaw as a fraud unworthy of their trust. Kane however swiftly intervenes, silencing Logan and beseeching Shaw for assistance in rescuing his daughter. Reluctantly, Shaw agrees to aid Kane, albeit with a clear stipulation. His primary objective is to uncover the truth behind his own abduction and the subsequent killings. Despite Kane's disappointment, he accepts Shaw's terms, recognizing the urgency of the situation. Setting aside their differences, they embark on their mission to locate Monica. 
Along the way, Kane reveals the harrowing details of the past year's events, including the brutal murders of eight agents, five of whom perished while Shaw was in captivity. With each revelation, the stakes grow higher, fueling Shaw's determination to uncover the sinister forces responsible for the atrocities that have plagued them. As they press forward, his quest for justice intertwines with Kane's desperate search for his daughter. As Shaw delves deeper into the investigation, haunting images and flashbacks continue to plague him, offering glimpses of a past shrouded in mystery. Despite his efforts, the details of his escape from captivity remain elusive, leaving him grappling with unanswered questions. The discovery of a photograph linking Monica and Javier, one of the slain agents, raises suspicion and further fuels Shaw's determination. Tracking down leads, Shaw and his companions find themselves under attack, prompting a relentless pursuit of the elusive killer. Their pursuit leads them to a flat, but the perpetrator has already fled the scene, leaving Shaw to question Kane's motives, and the loyalty of those around him. His growing distrust hints at a deeper conspiracy, with suspicions falling on Kane's motives, and the possibility of a mole within their ranks. Kane attempts to reassure Shaw of their solidarity, emphasizing the limited circle privy to their mission. However, Shaw's skepticism remains unabated, casting doubt. As the investigation intensifies, Shaw's journey takes him to unexpected places, including a barber shop owned by Mouthpiece, a former agent with ties to his past. Amidst the labyrinth of deceit and betrayal, he struggles to discern friend from foe. Having left his former life behind, Shaw finds himself immersed in the world of barbering, seeking solace and anonymity in his new profession. However, his pursuit of justice for Monica's kidnapping remains steadfast. Mouthpiece, a former colleague turned barber, offers a lead to him, directing him to Richard, a dubious character with ties to the club where Monica was abducted. Shaw confronts Richard, who initially hesitates to cooperate, but ultimately divulges crucial information under duress. Richard confesses that Monica was indeed taken from his club by his men, but was subsequently abducted by a mysterious group. Despite his reluctance, Shaw's determination leads him to uncover the truth behind Monica's disappearance. As Shaw processes the newfound revelations, doubts and suspicions cloud his mind, raising concerns about the true motives. With danger lurking at every turn, he must navigate through a maze of deceit and betrayal, wary of falling into yet another trap. In a decisive move, he eliminates Richard on the street, after extracting vital information regarding Monica's whereabouts. They make their way to the location provided by Richard, a secluded greenhouse nestled among the farms. Upon infiltrating the compound, Shaw swiftly dispatches the guards, ultimately rescuing Monica from captivity. However, their escape is momentarily halted as Monica expresses her desire to retrieve an incriminating file from Quinton's office. Undeterred by the escalating danger, they press on towards Quinton's office, only to find themselves under siege by the alerted guards, revealing the facility's government affiliation. Despite facing formidable opposition from the agency's strike force, Shaw remains undaunted, eliminating the assailants, and successfully accessing the system data. With the critical information secured on a pen drive, he proceeds to delete the incriminating files from the system, ensuring that only one copy of the data remains. In a daring display of resolve and skill, Shaw and Monica emerge triumphant, having exposed the truth through a labyrinth of peril and betrayal. In the midst of an intense encounter, Shaw finds himself staring down the barrel of Monica's gun. She discloses that she and her father have been on a mission to capture Shaw, in order to recover encrypted data. Disarming Monica, he guides her into the depths of a nearby forest, only to discover that she sustained a gunshot wound. Seeking refuge in a secluded house, he unveils a shocking revelation to Monica, Quentin, the mysterious figure, had coerced Shaw into divulging his colleague's identities by drugging him. However, she counters, revealing that he had actually revealed the names prior to any torture, with the drug merely inducing amnesia. Their exchange is cut short as Monica manages to break free and rejoin her father. Together, they realize that Shaw has successfully erased the coveted encrypted data. Retreating to the anonymity of his former hideout, Shaw embarks on the arduous task of deciphering a duplicate set of information. Meanwhile, Kane initiates his pursuit of Shaw, retracing his steps to frequented locales, like the local diner and bookstore. Along the way, he encounters Janice, the flirtatious waitress, and resorts to violence, silencing the bookstore owner who harbors knowledge of Shaw's true identity. As Shaw unravels the encrypted data, he uncovers a startling truth. Kane, the orchestrator of his torment, had subjected him to torture and manipulation, employing drugs to distort his memories, but ultimately failing to extract Quinton's elusive information. As the tension escalates, Kane seizes Janice as a hostage, intensifying the stakes of Shaw's pursuit. 
Meanwhile, Shaw confides in Monica, divulging her father's true motives. Their paths converge when Shaw discovers Jan is held captive in Kane's vehicle, prompting him to launch a relentless pursuit. In a harrowing showdown, gunfire erupts, propelling Shaw and Kane towards a dramatic confrontation at the pier. Monica arrives on the scene, her own vendetta fueled by the revelation that Kane was responsible for the death of her beloved Javier. As the confrontation reaches its climax, Shaw decisively eliminates Kane, preventing Monica from carrying out her own brand of justice. In the aftermath of the chaos, Shaw finds himself at a school, encountering a teacher who was once a colleague. Their conversation reveals the unsettling possibility of a larger conspiracy at play. Faced with mounting uncertainty, Shaw's actions take a sudden turn, as he brandishes a firearm, hinting at the depths of his involvement in the unfolding drama. Outside, a cryptic exchange unfolds between Shaw and the enigmatic bookstore owner, hinting at unresolved mysteries and hidden agendas. Shaw's decision to depart town temporarily, citing business matters, adds a layer of intrigue to the evolving narrative, leaving lingering questions in its wake. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.